85 degrees, real feel, 95 degrees. Okay, this is what we consider an actual crisis in the state of Florida in the summertime. Air conditioner's blown. Well, it's not blown, but it's on its last leg. It's running out of, uh, <clears throat> of refrigerant. It's got a Freon leak. And I'm having it replaced tomorrow. So, you've been a good one, but it is time. I'm ready to save a lot of money on my electric bill, but at least for the remainder of today, ooh, lordy, it's gonna be hot. Man, I must really, really love you guys, my audience, to be out here filming. So, I'm going to be absolutely drenched in sweat filming in my garage, and yet, I'm and then there's, there's no cold house to walk into and sit in the refreshing air conditioner. I'm gonna go from sweltering to sweltering. So, but the show must go on. And I'm hoping that uh, this video will earn me just a little bit of that money back because we're dropping a ton on this new air conditioner. Uh, that's, that's just one of the joys of home ownership. But um, I just got a huge mail call a bunch of molds, a bunch of panfish molds, something that I don't do nearly enough. I get asked all the time to make some panfish molds, or excuse me, to make some panfish lures, and I got them now. Let's take a look at what we have. Literally the entire table surface looks like it's covered in aluminum. Um, so yeah, let's see what we got. Yeah, holy smokes, look at this. You know, you know what this reminds me of? When I actually went to Michigan, and the actual production table, the production floor, I guess, at Angling AI Molds actual warehouse. They have this giant table, right, that's like three times the size of this, and they fill that thing up with molds every day going out to you guys and gals. So, uh, wow, let's take a look at what we have here. So this right here is the two and a half inch single tail grub. This is the same one, but in the two inch I believe and the way that these are measured is how they hang so this is actually two inches from gate to the back of the cavity in the mold okay so it's two inches in the mold but once that tail flops down it hangs um, to I think two and a half inch and then this one here same thing it's gonna hang to two inches um, at least that's my understanding then check this out we have this like little baby twin tail grub right so that's, and, and these are just, you know, that's one mold together. I just have them split open so that you can see them. And then we have something really cool here. We have the tail molds. So this allows me to just inject a bunch of tails that I can then pop back into this two and a half inch grub, right? So let's say I want a different tail color. Instead of having to um, run the mold in a single color, then individually snip and chop off each tail, I can just run the tails. And so Angling AI makes a lot of tail molds for a lot of their injection molds just to save you the trouble. And then we also have the tail mold here for this smaller grub, all right? And then we have some, uh, what the heck is this? Is this what you northerners fish with? Like, is, is this ice fishing stuff? I don't even know what that is. I'm from Florida. That's, that's, like, that's like me trying to learn a different language. Time to get out some of the bright pinks, whites, oranges, Anything else you can think of, chartreuse, because we're making some panfish lures, and y'all know those specks and uh, bluegill and other species of panfish, they love bright colors, much like saltwater fish. They have an eye for things that are glittery. So um, yeah, some bright, exciting, fun colors coming your way. So I wanna use a medium blend plastic for my panfish lures. Um, so what, what we're gonna be doing here is playing with the uh, dead-on black black bucket swim bait jerk bait blend it's a nice medium durometer and uh, you, you'll still get plenty of kick out of all of those tails on those small grubs but a little bit better durability than if I used like a worm blend okay instead of by mold I decided to do this by color right so if I'm gonna mix up some plastic I might as well run all three molds with it because these molds don't use a lot of plastic so this one cup of plastic will probably go a long way so I'm just kind of starting with something real basic just some pink and some hologram flake. I figured, hey, this is very panfish-esque, but we need to saturate that a lot more. Because you gotta think, you know, those grubs have really thin tails. And if your color isn't really, really opaque, 
those tails are going to look like there's just not enough there. The bodies might look okay, but you got to think, what would the tail do? Oh, it's looking yummy. Okay, all right. I don't ever mix up like colors like this a whole lot. All right, now we're just going to load it up with some string cut silver hollow flake. This is the same flake that I like to use in a uh, shad pattern that I like to call disco shad. All right, this will be fun, and you can see I actually have the bath today. You know, because you're dealing with so many small baits, I mean, these are, you know, large cavity molds. You know, I, I don't want to try to lay out each one individually right away, so I'm just going to give them a little bit of uh, bath cure time, and I think that'll help them out. All right, we have a brand new mold. Still has that mirror finish to it. It still smells like the CNC machine coolant, which means we need to bludgeon it with some drumsticks. Join me in a drum roll, please. Sorry there, Josh. All right, let's see what happened. Well, maybe let's see what happened. Dun, 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 dun. This is going to be cool because it's going to be like a lot of stuff to look at. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Man, that's hot. And of course, those two are out of place. Get back in place. And that color isn't bad. And there, and, you know, there again, I'm very inexperienced at making panfish lures. You know, I, I usually see things like a black body and a chartreuse tail or... You know, lots of yellows and, and uh, you know, pinks and chartreuses. You know, uh, like I said earlier, a lot like saltwater colors. But I'm sure there are some that get a little fancier than that. So it looks like I needed a little bit more pressure there, maybe a little bit more heat. You know, there again, you know, so the way that the plastic's going to flow, it's going to come in here, and it's really going to go here first. Then it's going to start building pressure and coming back up so you can see where it starts to not fill in all the way is is kind of towards the end of the path that the plastic runs and the further plastic goes the, the faster it can cool down so just something for me to keep in mind that um, I might need to up my temperatures just slightly set that one aside this is so cool anytime anytime you're talking new molds it's so exciting because it's 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 like a brand new I don't I don't I don't even know how to say it. It's 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 like a it's like playing a brand new instrument for the first time. Even if you already know how to play it, it's still fun to do it. Oh my gosh. It's still fun to do it again on something new. Look at that. Looks like all of those filled. So that's good. I must have uh, pushed a little pushed a little harder there. Come on, baby. Well, anyway, y'all get the the picture. See, this is more the size of the grub that I'm used to throwing. That that first one's actually a little big. Uh, but there again, you know, I don't panfish a whole lot. But look at that. Look at this. Ah, get get in position there. Oh, sort of. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? There's so much to look at. Man, this is fun. Anybody, anybody thinking about making their own baits who has not tried yet at least try it guys this is absolutely awesome so there's the grub right there oh super cool and now we're going to look at the twin tail and then we're going to move on to some more uh to some more involved colors we'll get out the dual injector and do some laminating we'll play with the uh tail molds of course in fact we'll probably do the tail molds next and just do some solid body and solid tail colors before we try to laminate these things. Oh man, that is just seriously awesome. Yeah, put out about six of those and troll those behind the boat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. Look at this. 
probably catch a lot of small bass on something like that too. Awesome, stunners, stunners, stunners. So, here's what we have. And you know, the thing about it is these molds are, these molds don't take a lot of plastic. So, here's, here's what I have left. You know, if I wanted to get every drop out, I could get another run easy of at least one of these molds, if not two. Okay, so we just got some more uh, swim bait plastic out there looking nice and good. And um, so now we're gonna do a tail color. But we're gonna make the tail color a black grape base because we're gonna do basically a June bug tail with like a bright, bright yellow body. Something that I think will look cool because a lot of times um, in panfish lures, I see a dark body with a brighter tail. So we're just gonna kinda do the inverse of that because we can, right? You know, the whole point of doing this stuff um, yourself, you know, or, or at home making your own lures is to experiment and try new things. And, you know, of course, just the luxury of being able to make what you want, how you want. Okay, so I have the two tail molds right here and uh, we have our June bug ready, let's go. Gonna really hold some pressure just to make sure those cavities fill. Really, really gonna push, push a little extra on these. Just since it's such small cavities. All right, tail mold time. Let's pop this first one open. Hmm, maybe. Okay. Let's see what happened here. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> look at this madness. There's plastic going every which direction. Okay, so we'll give you a closer look. Look at that, look how good that June bug looks now that, now that it's thinned out in the tail. Can really, really see the color saturation really well. Yeah. And so basically that made just a bunch of tails, just like that. And that's the whole purpose to it. All right, so that's for the smaller of the two grubs. Now let's get this one open. Uh, you can tell these are odd molds when the port is right there. <laughs> Normally it's like centered or on one end. No, this is like a third of the way. It's just like random. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, looks like those top ones didn't quite fill. No problemo. None of these molds are preheated. So, you know, whenever you're shooting small cavity molds, uh, especially in a part of the country that might be, uh, you know, a little bit colder than Florida, especially, you can preheat your molds. So, no harm, no foul. I can always run that again. But but you'll see here a really cool feature. Um, yeah, here's one that filled. Really cool feature, the way that Josh does his tail molds. I actually tore that one. But you see this little notch there. That actually allows the body plastic to then fill in that notch giving you an actual bond between the two colors. So that's a concept that, that he developed for his tail molds. And unfortunately, it's been pirated by some competitors, but um, a really, really awesome feature there which allows, which allows the tail um, that, that you get from your tail mold to bond a little bit better to the body. All right, so we have a full screen of stuff to look at here. So I already put in the tails and the smaller grub, right? Looking good, looking good. And what I learned in the process was the tail mold for the smaller grub makes enough tails to fill the actual mold two times. So you get two times the amount of tails in the tail mold that you actually need for that. So with one run of the tail mold, you can use this mold twice. Um, I haven't actually tallied it up yet, but I wanted to show you all that um, I, uh, I, I went ahead and injected the other tail mold again, just a little hotter this time. You can see all those tails filled in just fine. All right, so basically there's uh, no special way about it, but you just kind of place it in there, just like that. Perfect, perfect. We'll go ahead and grab another one off the, uh, off the tail mold there. And so you just kind of have to have a little bit of patience here but it's gonna be really cool 
when we can uh, fill all of these out with just one plunge of the injector and then we get a bunch of split tail grubs so this is pretty much the process just kind of take your time maybe maybe watch watch some YouTube in the process you know may, maybe put on one of my videos even you know in the background while you're doing this you know because this, this might take five or six minutes to do a mold but there we go so anyway that's the next step and uh, I can't wait to see these all right here we go All right, fingers crossed that we did it right. Oh heck yeah, y'all. The other one did awesome too. A little double trouble action here. And so, um, as I mentioned earlier about the air vents, this one had one cavity, just one, that had that um, dent or, or air pocket there. Everything else came out absolutely perfect. I mean, look at this. Let's just do like a little pan here. Pan of the panfish baits unreal hello by the way reflection man that's cool it's 2 and 2.5 those are the measurements there so there's just kind of like a little compare and contrast it's the same exact grub as you can see just different sizes really really attractive bait so there's the difference in diameter and again Awesome color. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm digging it. This is super fun stuff. Yeah, let's get this other string out. That's fun right there. Peeling them off. All right, hot dog. Super cool. We're gonna get these in some uh, bath water. <sighs> nice refreshing bath. It's probably much more refreshing in there than it is in my house right now. What would be a good laminate color? You know, like the obvious ones are like pink and green or something like an electric chicken or, you know, orange and pink and some of those, some of those classics. But I want to do something a little different, of course. Maybe we could do like a black or like a dark charcoal and then the other side is like just flake. It's so maybe like a black and gold flake. Let's do that. Black and gold flake. Yes, I'm holding the microphone so that you can hear me. All right, here we go. Some charcoal, so which is just a few drops of black. That's like four or five right there. And again, you know, you have to remember these are such small baits, such small cavities that normal saturation is still gonna look pretty see-through on these. So what, what might be charcoal to me in a regular size bait might almost appear completely see-through and colorless, right? On a small grub like that. So I actually want to um, saturate this some more because drizzled out like that, it's, I can tell it's gonna be real thin when it, when it actually comes time to put those in the molds. Or uh, the, yeah, to put that color into the mold. So, just drizzle out some there. That's better. That's better, okay. I think we're gonna stop with that. Then the other side, we're just gonna load it up with some small gold flake. See, see what that gets us. I think this will be pretty cool. I'm real curious to see if I can laminate those tiny, tiny cavities well. That'll be, that'll be an ultimate test to laminate the cavities and get them to fill. So, a little bit of a, uh, a test here of my abilities. See if I can do it. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Check this out, check this out. Isn't that sweet? Oh, focus. I think that'll look really cool, you guys. All right, here we go, wish us luck.
we're really going to hold that pressure so that we can hopefully get everything to fill. The color looks really pretty though. A color like this reminds me of like a jerk bait, like a fluke or something. Would look really good, I think. Okay, here we go. This one is drum roll worthy. Here we go. Let's see how we did. I have a good feeling. Let's let's check it out. Oh. Oh, look at this. Look at that. That twin tail madness. I actually thought this was the uh, was the 2.5 single tail. Look at that. Try to make sense of them here. Um, well, all right. Anyway, that actually laminated really well. So if I uh, if I get one out, check that out. Ha <laughs> ha. And I, I, I got to tell you, I got lucky here, and the color saturation is perfect, right? The body is still dark enough for it to look, you know, charcoal and different from the gold side, but then look at the tail. The tail is flawless. And here's the single tail, or uh, sorry, the smaller single tail, the two inch. As you can see, laminated extremely well. So you know what what comes to mind here in terms of me feeling good about myself is that every cavity on all three molds filled all the way and laminated evenly despite how far this plastic has to travel that's absolutely insane mold making awesome job to angling ai molds freaking cool now this is crazy this might actually be thumbnail Everyone's going to wonder, how did he get the molds to do opposite laminates off of one run with the spray? <laughs> no, I literally took them out one by one and laid them in here so that you could see both sides of the laminate from one perspective. So instead of all of them being just the dark side or the gold side, now you get to see all of it from one perspective. thought that was super cool. Oh man, that's quite a spread. Oh, you know, and, and what's cool is that this is just our first time ever using these molds. And, you know, we have such a cool palette of stuff, and it was all pretty simple and didn't take very long to make. Um, and the longest thing was the, you know, uh, split tail colors. But, you know, it just kind of goes to show, imagine what you could do with a week's worth of practice, di really dialing in some colors, you know. Um, Super awesome, super inspiring, and now we come to uh, one of my favorite parts of every video. Question of the day, which ones were your favorite? Do you like these sort of uh, LA Lakers? I, don't, I mean, golly, what, what other team colors is this? This is LSU, sort of. So do you like our June bug and yellow uh, split tail grubs? You know, the two-tone there. Did you like our black and gold flake laminates? looking super cool there or did you like the uh, hot pink and the hologram flake and then of course which bait is your favorite do you like the cool little uh, twin tail there super awesome did you prefer the smaller oops the smaller the 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 two inch single tail or did you prefer the two and a half inch single tail i would say my favorite are these in the two and a half inch so basically these right here. Those are the ones that I would, I guess, fish with the most confidence. But there again, I don't know, something like this. Boy, that's just got speckle perch written all over it. It's hard to say, I don't pan fish enough, but in any event, wanted to show y'all guys a really awesome mold haul. I mean, look at all this stuff. This was all part of, of today's mold haul. And uh, it's not every day that Christmas comes early. So um, yeah, awesome stuff. Big shout out to Angling AI Molds. Awesome panfish molds. Pick some up if you want to do some of this stuff. You'll have a great time. And uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video. All right, it is definitely hot and it's time to go inside to a pretty warm house. Uh, hopefully it's not gonna get too bad in there, but we'll see. Um, new air conditioning coming soon. And on top of that, I just got a part in the mail to fix my toilet. So one of the toilets is down 
and I had to special order some part and I hope it's the right part to get that fixed and uh, man you know just what it's the joys of home ownership anyways shoot me lots of comments down below please like and subscribe hit the notification bell tell your friends all that fun stuff thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video